Hello, welcome to Wendy's Colouring. Feels a bit strange saying that. Um, yeah, before I start showing you some of the stuff I got from Ali, just a quick, um, quick bit about name change really. Obviously, uh, you might have seen it already in the community tab that I did. Um, I have changed, obviously, the channel name, as you can probably see already. Um, I started my Instagram oh, quite a few years ago now when I was really making uh, a range of different things um, rather than colouring. So obviously the name Happily Handmade kind of suited uh, that uh, Instagram page a bit more when I was making things rather than just colouring things. But obviously over time that's kind of changed and obviously I've become very much a colouring addict. So, yeah, I've owned and odd about changing it quite a few times. Um, and I, you may or may not be aware, but Instagram, uh, YouTube is changing how channels are referred to. Um, so I thought, well, before that kicks in, it's probably a good idea if I'm going to change it. Now I should change it. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with a handle that isn't appropriate when I do change it. So, yeah, they've kind of forced my hand in that they were making some changes that I thought, yeah, okay, if we're going to change something, I better do it now because otherwise it might be too late and then it'll make it more difficult later. So, yeah, so Wendy's colouring is here. Happy Handmade is gone. Um, nothing else is going to change. Um, there's a few um, labels and things here and there that I perhaps need to change, but um, it'll be a mix of things. I've got a few videos that I'd already recorded before I've made this decision, so... There'll still be videos popping up for the next few weeks where I'm calling myself happily handmade because um, I've recorded it before, I've changed it, but um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's still me, regardless what channel I'm calling myself. Anyway, moving on from the boring bits. I have, as per, because I can't help myself, ordered a few bits and pieces from um, Aliexpress. So I thought I'd share them with you as I... Um, open and battle my way through them. Um, battle is the word with Aliexpress packaging. I think that would be my only criticism really with Aliexpress. So I'm going to do the, the not so exciting one first. So this one, this one really is about storage for me because as you probably know if you've seen my channel, I do get a um, Sticky Club subscription. Oh, that must be a freebie. Didn't order that. Some little Stickers, stick I quite like them. Quite like the colours of them. Um, I can check what else is in here. Mm, what are these? Probably paperwork, a bill. Oh no, just some card. Yeah, so I think that's everything out of that dreadful envelope. So I did get a few things to store stuff in, really, which is not exciting, but was necessary. Just going to pause you while I get my file because it'll make more sense then. Okay, excuse the mess. Let's just popped up for you. Stickers. Yes, I have too many stickers, as you probably guessed. So I have a Sticky Club subscription, and obviously this is my latest one that I want to put away. They come in these really nice little wallets, and I do really like them. They're a really good storage solution in that they've got this little pocket at the top, they've got these two small little pockets, and then the back obviously has all your actual stickers and bits and pieces that they've sent you for this month which is great but I have been finding that when I had them in the actual sticky club uh, file um, that I bought when I started my subscription it's lovely and obviously once you start getting to this kind of level where you've got a lot of them every one of these little bat wallets has six eight 10 sticker sheets in there and whilst they do give you these lovely little stickers that go in the corner like clearly this one was a some kind of Japanese style um, thirsty you get quite a few months that are, that are kind of like that that what what do what do stickers that come under the title thirsty look like I'm guessing there's cups I'm just being pedantic now but um, there's a few months that I was kind of like when you just want a sticker that's got a owl on it or you just want a sticker that's got a piece of cheese on it obviously I don't <laughs> I wasn't finding this kind of worked for me because you can't see 
when you're flicking through like this you can't you can only see the sticker sheet that's on the back like this one basically so because I've got quite a few and last Christmas I did get the uh, advent calendar set and I, th I think that gave me another um, 75 sheets yeah I just I just wasn't finding this was working for me as much as I love it and I'm probably going to use this maybe for more uh, stamp storage or something like this because obviously they're still sending the um, stickers in these wallets and these wallets are great so I thought yeah these would be great for little stamps and already I've got they send stamps quite often you know I've got quite a few in here from uh, sticky club already so I think I'm going to use this one for stamps but my actual um, stickers just weren't working for me in this particular file let me get it out of the way because it'll keep falling on me so I've kind of swapped and gone to big kind of A4 um, files instead so I bought was it last month or the month before I think I, I bought last time I, I did an alley order I got some of these uh, loose um, four sizes I'm not finding the words to describe what I mean at the moment whatever these things are called but that just had four way I ordered some of those last time um, and I knew these wouldn't quite fit as you can see they can't they don't quite fit in they, they stick out a little bit um, but I thought well it's enough that now I can categorize these I can put like for like in here and so I've kind of got, I've not labelled these yet, I'm going to put little tabs I think down the side, but I've kind of got like cute, I've got kind of arty things, vintage, because I do get the vintage pack, so I have quite a, quite a few bits and pieces like that, sea life, and so on. I'm sure you get the message, it, it goes on and on and on and on, but I'd kind of... <laughs> underestimate it unsurprisingly how many stickers I had for each category so I've used up all the ones that I got last time but I think this will work much better for me they're in one place when I want a sticker I'm literally lifting the one file out I'm going to categorize them with just some little tabs down the side but like I say I needed some more um, for that file so I have ordered from Ali another few packs of these so I think they come in tens or fives these I'm not gonna lie it's not the cheapest of um, storage solutions let me just see how many are in here three yeah I think there's ten in here in each of these packs so I've got about another 40 so that will last me quite a while I think because um, obviously I'm getting eight in each of these because they're double sided so excuse the plastic noises so I've got a, another 40 of those for this file which will be more than enough for my needs for this file and then I also had that I think I got from Aliexpress or oh, a long long time ago I've had these a while but these little um, square washi stickers they come in little boxes have I got them to hand Excuse me while I move things. Can I find them? So they come in these kind of little boxes. Um, and they have quite a lot of stickers in one of these boxes. And I think these are only a few. Oh, in fact, there you go. I can kind of see what's in it. If I can coordinate my hand. Kind of see what's in it, can't you? Those kind of things anyway. But they were dry. Again, it was the same issue really that in a box like that where well, you've got to get them out you've got to flick through them oh that wasn't the box I wanted that's not it, it just that doesn't work for me in that kind of moment where you just want a sticker that's got such and such in I wanted to be able to again I categorize these but I've started putting these um, in here but these are again more of these that are divided into four and obviously these are much smaller so I wanted something that was ideal because I think I do still have two more boxes in there that I didn't I'd run out of things for so I thought these little squares hopefully watch them not fit now I've just said that hopefully these little squares ooh, where have I just put that 
will fit. Oh yeah, I think they will, won't they? Yay! These little squares will fit in there. And again, they're double sided. And I think there's 10 um, in each of these packs. So I don't have many of these and I probably won't buy any more of these, but I just want to have the ones that I do have um, all together in, again, one file. So I can think, okay, I've got that vintage pack at the back of here. There's some foodie bits in here. There's, you know, this kind of thing, but it's a much easier flick through and I can categorize it. And it's just that moment where you just, you want some um, bits and pieces and yeah, <laughs> you can't find them because they're in stupid boxes. Just want something speedier. I don't know why I've got this file out because it's, it's totally irrelevant to what I'm talking about. This is just all my lettering and random little, oh, I think I did show some of these last time I did an AliExpress. Um, and I did get these little, how many's in these? Uh, 369, these little nine way little pockets. Can't remember how, how you can get them in there. Oh yeah, little, little tops there. So yeah, I think I did show these little stickers last time. So they're just, again, easy to flick through, keeps them all contained. Um, and these are just in a little flick through as well. So it's kind of just keeping all my bits together. She says, just flying off that mushroom that I didn't put in properly. Um, and my lettering, things like that. So that's, yeah, my first purchase from Ali is basically to organize my last purchase from Ali. I'll move back down again now. Now I've done the big stuff. Hopefully without knocking you. It's got bits of goodness knows what. Okay, so the other stuff um, I got, I did get a couple of stencils in my last art haul from Amazon but there was a couple that I spotted on Amazon these are kind of a5 size but I thought these look really appealing I get I'm thinking more for my art journal really if I'm just wanting to do backgrounds I thought these were really quite nice so this kind of spotty dotty one this one which is kind of letters but all kind of randomly mixed up I'd seen a few kind of different things like this on various different sites, but they were all quite pricey. And obviously, yeah, Ali does these things so cheap, don't they? And again, just a kind of honeycomb, distressed paint look, bit of lettering. Thought these would be great just to play about with. Don't need to worry. They were nice and cheap. Um, so I got those from Ali. Then, <laughs> I do not need <laughs> any more washi. But these are two bags of washi because I have got a bit of a washi addiction at the moment. I'm finding I'm using it loads in the journal. So that's how I'm justifying myself being allowed more. But yeah, there's a couple of um, stores that I'm really quite liking on Ali. I'll try and link the specific stores on Ali. In fact, I might need to go in a bit more. I don't know if you'd be able to see these properly. But yeah, there's a few stores that I'm really enjoying on Ali for their washi at the moment because they're, they're really quite nicely printed. They're quite good quality and I've, I've used quite a few few bits that I've been cutting out. I think this, oh yeah, back to the church again here, aren't we? So obviously, <laughs> mushrooms, I'm going to buy it. Can I roll these back up now is the question. i pop them there out of the way. Then what else? Oh, this one's in wrap. Oh. Yeah, I, I apologise in advance for all of the uh, plastic noise on this video. Like, does, does washi tape that's in an envelope really need plastic around it? I'm really not sure it does, but apparently they think it does. Oh, there we go. I think we're in, we're in. Oh. That's some of that static stuff that doesn't want to get off. Right, where is the end? This one's like a... Um, like a collage effect. It feels like the end, but in fact it's not the end. Oh, yes it is. This is what this video is going to mainly uh, be, I think. <laughs> Me trying to get into washing without ripping it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this one's got kind of handmade little Christmas tree, some flowers, some envelopes. Have a good day. What's that say? I will <laughs> destroy you. Nice. I don't think that's quite... Has that been lost in translation somewhere? I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave you, we'll finally understand why storms are named after people. 
I don't, I'm not sure what I think about that. I don't think I want to read any more of these. Just in case it's something I shouldn't be reading out on YouTube. Anyway, I like the images. I'll cut some of the images out and we're back to the beginning. I probably won't use that. I will destroy you, quote. Random. I must admit, sometimes when I'm looking on Ali and you can see the images of what they've got, I can see they're just putting random words on that they clearly don't always understand what it means. But it does quite amuse me. But because I don't use these just as a, as a single strip, because obviously these are quite thick washi compared to a normal one. There's my washi drawer. Let's get it a normal. Obviously, that's the normal thickness. This one's not a AliExpress one. <laughs> But you get the idea. They're fairly quite a lot on them. Um, because I'm cutting out the little bits and pieces I want. This one's that way around, isn't it? Um, I'm not really bothered if it's got a deaf quote on because I'll just cut out the images that I actually want. So I thought these were quite nice. Little kind of castle, um, star scenes, things like that. Oop, can I put it back together again? And obviously it's considerably cheaper from Aliexpress than anywhere else, let's be honest. Um, this one is a little flowery one. I don't think the design changes as you open it. It's literally just flowers, but obviously it's really, really thick little uh, washi, so it's really handy. Um, this one, again, is like collages and flowers. Sorry, I'm gonna <laughs> get in the end. Oop, there we go. We're in. But yeah, some of these are just a lot of beautiful. So I think it's just a print, isn't it, that stops at a certain point. But yeah, I thought these were lovely for my art journal, for my colouring journal. Oop, I've pulled a lot out. Let me hold it so I can put it back together. But yeah, that one's that one's really lovely. And yeah, you get quite a fair amount on these ones. But yeah, this is currently one of my favourite um, washi tape stores. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it, but I will try and add it at the bottom just because I, I'm liking their stuff a lot. Oh, that just snapped. I'm in. Can I find the end? I think this one's little scenes. Nope, the end is hiding from me. Oh, I think it's there. That's it. That is it. Oh, goodness. It's all or nothing. So yeah, this is really good. Look at that little, it's like it's in a little paint uh, palette. Little village in a paint palette, it's like that way up. A little tank with a village above it. Handily keeps swapping round. Another little scene in a palette. I just thought these were really cute. I can't hold it and turn it from there. back to the beginning again but yeah just really lovely designs on some of these and the print quality in these I don't know how well you can see really but it's really glossy really beautifully printed washi it's not super top quality like if you're going to buy one off Etsy or somewhere like that that you know have been hand printed and are super top quality but is that all the ones out of that one that's all the ones out of that one so I'm in the big one now Oops, looks, um, that they've gone mad with the um, let's just cut it otherwise we'll be here all day but yeah if you want washi <laughs> this is the video to watch because I have literally got a bag full of washi oh hello what have I got extra I've got two little extra things so I was letting you know maybe they sent me an extra extra washi with mushrooms on yay Beautiful. Okay, so this one again is 
you know me there's going to be a lot of mushroomy stamps <laughs> mushroomy washi in this but yeah i've got one already that has like the mushrooms in jars that i really thought was lovely but again just beautifully printed um i probably won't use it as a whole piece like that i will cut out the little bit that i like um, but i like adding them to my drawer and you can just see them and pick the bits up that you want and obviously these are massive um, rolls of washi that have got a lot of bits and pieces to cut out and because they're reasonably cheap I don't worry about how much of it I'm using whereas some of my sticky club I'm like mm, but if I use that one I won't be able to get another of those and what if I don't like it on that page <laughs> it's pretty stupid I mean that really pretty stupid uh, uh oh, this does not want to unstick. Please don't rip. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Are we upside down? Yes, we are. Oh, we're kind of upside down both ways, aren't we? Mm. No, I think we were right the first time. I can't actually see my camera very well because my, ca my phone is actually in the way now. But yeah, this is almost like two rows of washi in one. So you've got this blue stripe and then this kind of ready brown stripe that you've got autumn, more, maybe more winter on the top but then it has all kinds of things on let's not read the quotes in case it's something bizarre I can't help myself now I've seen it may there be enough clouds in your life to make a beautiful sunset no that's not too bad <laughs> breathes a sigh of relief I think we're back at the beginning aren't we but yeah, it's got fruit, you've got kind of autumnal things, you've got bows, you've got little cloud scenes. But again, you can see how beautifully printed they are. I just think they're really, really nice. Washy. Uh, next one is a kind of fruits one. see the end but can I undo the end there we go presents raspberries raspberry jam do you reckon I don't know ice lollies they look nice and then I think we're back to the beginning And then another big one. Sorry, I should have perhaps opened some of these plastic bits before, but yeah, I wanted to look at them with you, not just uh, open them all myself and then look at them later. Thought it'd be nice to for you to see them as I see them. Oh, I'm liking the colour palette in this one already. I have no idea. What, oh, is it that way up? It's that way up, isn't it? It's little balloons, isn't it? Balloons, parties, like ribbons, bows. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Yeah, I like that. And then you've got like balloons with flowers in. Oh, balloons with teddies in. Yeah, cute. I like that one. Oh, a small one. I won't open this one because it's only small, but it's like pink clouds. And as I've got, oh, another big one. I think this might be the Alice in Wonderland one and get in it. Oh, bits of plastic everywhere. Yeah, it is. The Alice in Wonderland one. That's that way up now I'm looking. Oh, 
these are cute. Just look at the detail on some of these. They're so beautifully printed as well. The colour is lovely on these. And we've got that little one at the bottom. Got a little bunny in a frame. <laughs> Mushroom with a hat on. More of a traditional looking Alice. But obviously I do a lot of Alice in Wonderland pictures. So I thought, well, it makes sense to have a roll of them that's fairly cheap. That I can cut out the little bits and pieces that I want. You can stick this whole page down if you want to use it just as it is, as a super thick um, washi. Like, you know, the whole of this is sticky. Um, but I've not tended to, to do that with the ones that I've used before. In fact, I'll show you the one I had before that I have used. I've got it to hand, oh yeah, I have. So this was the ones I ordered from them last time that's been kind of cut and hacked about. So um, I had this little mushroom one last time and as you can see, I just I've cut out a whole chunk out of there that I've used. I think I did use it in my colouring journal last month. So it's great just to cut out these little individual things. But the, the whole of this sheet is completely all sticky if you want to but yeah that's the ones that i had last time back on the new ones so yep. um, oh got another little free thing on it what's this one is it like a little table oh it's a little table by the window and a little piano see i'd like them if they didn't have this what's, what's this Perhaps it says what it is, but it's kind of spoiling the sticker, isn't it? Didn't need that on it. I like the sticker, but don't put, don't put loads of text on it that I don't want. The image would have been enough. Right, what's this one? Oh, this is the same little piano that's in that, isn't it? It's a little bunny that looks a bit scared. Uh, little scenes, yeah, just little internal scenes of houses and things from home. I think that's back to the beginning, isn't it, by the piano? Yeah, because there's a scared bunny again. Oop. Try and roll it back up. I keep me dropping it. But yeah. Like it. Mm. The fight is Alice in Wonderland and that's fighting back at the end of the table. Though. Mm, which one is this one? This one is all full. Oh, are they flowers? Are they? I don't know which way up this is. Oh, it looks like little um, wind chimes or something like that. Little hanging decorations of some sort. Kind of feel quite spring like though, don't they? I think these would be better for spring in my book. Oops. Don't stick to yourself. That's it. Then, oh, that one's the same. I think that is the same as the one I had already, or is it? Oh, no, I don't think it is, actually. I did order that same mushroom one that I've been using just because I liked it so much. And I thought, as I'm doing an order, I'm not going to order these. Again, I've got enough washi, let's be honest, to last me a lifetime here. But I did like that one in particular. So let's see whether it is the same one. I can't remember now. Oh yeah, it's the same one. So that's the same one that I've... Because it was these little jars that I used in my journal last month. So that's my spare. Yay! And then this one that's sticking to me but does not uh, does not want to get off me. <gasps> it's fighting back and winning this one. Oh, goodness, get off. Defeated by Washi. Uh, if this video does have um, 
an odd cut in it somewhere. It'll be because my Amazon man has finally arrived. I've been waiting for something all day. And thought, right, I give up. I want to film this washi so I can put it in my drawer and get it organised and uh, feel happy about it. But you know, the second you turn the camera on, that's when they'll turn up, isn't it? Because even though it's now, what time is it? <laughs> five to five. So I've been waiting all day practically. Still no sign. I've, I've given up. So, yeah, if I suddenly just drop something and it cuts, that's, that's why. Because he's finally showed up. Mm, this one does not want to open without ripping. How annoying. That little bit in between there is totally stuck. Is that it? Is that got it? Stop ripping, wasting my washi. Oh, I think we've got it. Ugh, finally. Hooray! In at the end, sorry. So you've got little test tubes. You've got fruit milk that's make, developing into clouds. You've got another kind of chemistry bottle. Then we're back to the test tubes. It's a bit of a strange one, isn't it? It's not always super easy to see what they actually are. But I just thought I've got a lot of kind of pink ones and green ones. I'll get some of the blue ones that they have on the site, but I thought they were a bit cloudy. Ooh. Ooh, get off. Oh, this has got another little thing on it. Don't roll away. What is that upside down? So these are little scenes, I think. Again, could have used this, but now they've printed some other thing on it. I think it's just a sample of what's in, in here, isn't it? Oh, no, I've actually undone the sticky back in. Don't want to do that. Let's get the back in off. This is not the easiest video to do because washi misbehaves. Maybe I should have opened them before. You have to be patient if you're going to make your way through this video of me picking at things. Is that it? I think that's it. Ooh, hurrah. Okay, so yeah, these are just all little scenes, I think. Cake, yay! Coffee and cake. And then you welcome the coffee. Something else. Cat coffee. Cat coffee shop. Coffee. Tea, yay! There's, there's the one I'm going in. Don't, I don't drink coffee. I'm about to the cat, the cake shop. But again, I've done a scene page in my colouring journal. Some of them will probably be popping up on the paper. Oh, what else? Unsurprisingly, some more washi. But I can't get in. Right. We're in. These are like fruity ones and flowers. A bit upside down, isn't it? That one, sorry. Strawberry, the bow. Bit of satin. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite cute as well. Like it. Oop, two together. They're already stuck together. Get off. around it. 
Well, these are a bit different, aren't they? I quite like these little views through windows that are all kind of cosy night scenes. Little frame. There's a little cloudy sky frame. Yeah, I like that. That's a bit different, isn't it, that? Liking them. And this one that was coming last time out on its own. Get off me. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it's attacking me. Death by Washi. Oh, this is another one that doesn't want to come open. Super. So this one's a bit of a collage you want again. I'm not reading the quotes. If you read them, at your own risk. <laughs> but yeah, autumn leaves. What? Zero eleven. <laughs> Why? I don't get it. <laughs> just, just stick some random numbers on there. But I like all the little. Um, excuse my emails. I should have muted it, but I didn't. Um, I like all the images, and those I will use. And I don't really have many kind of things like these. We just want a kind of naturally collage leaves that you can cut out random bulldog clip amongst the leaves. Is that a coin? Some kind of coin, isn't it? And new a day. Makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, if it's writing you want, probably this isn't the store to go for. If it's nice images you want on washi. They'll do that really well. While we're here and I can see them, I did get some more little magnetic bookmarks because these are so handy. I've been using them a lot in finished pages and colour and plan videos and things like that and they're really easy to find the pages. So I did get these two sets uh, of magnetic bookmarks. I thought these were the same but they're not quite the same. Well, they're slightly different but I'm totally fine with that. They can go in the drawer right now so I know where they are. Get them out of the way. Then I do have I still have some more washing, unsurprisingly. You're probably fed up of it by now. You're probably not obsessed like I am. So I just thought the last look ones were, were so lovely, and I've used them quite a lot, that I thought that I definitely want some more of those, because they're really nice. I don't worry about them. And they've got some of the images that I use that really suit my colouring, so I can't even find the end. Oh, there we are. So I'm definitely getting some more. Okay, so this is upside down again. <laughs> or maybe it isn't upside down. Who knows? No, I don't think it is, is it? I think they're supposed to be. I was thinking these test tubes are upside down, but I think they're actually like cloches, aren't they? Not test tubes. The items trapped in it. So I think I was right the first time. Yeah, I was. So the little cloches, there's little kind of journal books, there's flowers, and oh, back to the beginning. Yeah, I like that one, that one's nice. I quite like these little, there's little tags and things in this one as well. Yeah, it's cute that. And I like it. Oh, that, this one's massive. I got a little handy. How tall is this one? 12 centimetres or mm, four, four and a half inches. It's quite a big washi. Ooh. I've got the most horrendous pile of static plastic next to me that's just going to electrocute me when I pick it up later. <laughs> Probably not, but you know what I mean. Okay, so blue pebbly mushrooms. 
books, flowers. More cloches. Seem to have a cloche. <laughs> uh, addiction. Bought a lot of those. Ooh, it's reflecting quite a bit, isn't it? This one. Print on it. It's so glossy. Really lovely, but yeah, it's, ma it's such a massive piece, and there's quite a lot on it. Yep, I like it. Getting towards the end now. Is this my last big one? This is the last of the bigger ones. Another collage one, I think. There's the little sample one. There's the end. These ones haven't got quite as much on these ones that come with the little sample thing. They're also really tricky to get started. But at least they don't rip, so could be worse, couldn't it? There's only one that's been a bit rippy. More leaves. Is this the same as the other one? Feels very similar, doesn't it? Similar but different. Again, <laughs> read the quotes at your own risk. I'm tempted to read them just in case there's some ridiculous ones again, but darling, you're different. No one can deny that. Little safety pin, I quite like that. But again, more leaves, bit of collage, some random little letters and another bulldog clip. This is very similar to the other one, isn't it? Is this the same? Where is the other one? Have I got two the same? I didn't think I had. But now I'm thinking I have, have I? They're similar, aren't they? Very similar, but not quite the same. Either way, if I want some uh, autumnal leaves, these are the washi I want. Okay, so how many have I got left? Ooh. I have got five left. So this one looks a bit different. Ooh. I don't know if that's helped at all. Get off. Okay, this is pretty. I like it already. No idea. Oh, it's a little bunny. Look at that. So we've got a little koi fish, is it in there? Koi fish, a little bunny in a kimono. Another fish. <laughs> what? What is that? <laughs> Random ghost head thing? I don't know. Some of this is very, some of these are lovely, aren't they? I really like these. These are pretty. Yeah, we're back to the bunny and the kimono. Yeah, I like those. They're pretty. sample thing, little is she a witch? I'm not sure. She's like a little manga witch, isn't she? Oops. Just try and move my computer then so I'll keep doing that. Oh I like this one. These are on completely clear so I think it still leaves this shiny background so I probably will actually cut these out completely so you don't have the clear plastic but you can obviously stick the whole page on like that if you'd want to but yeah these are these are so nicely printed the colour in them is really lovely a little witch reading a book a little witch doing a spell on some books this is nice as well, isn't it? It's like half a clock. 
And then is that that's the beginning? Oh yeah, because that's where we started with the little bird cagey thing. Yeah, that's lovely. Not a hugely thick one, but there's still plenty on here. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it? Might be useful for October pages when I'm putting them in the colouring journal. Yeah, that's nice. Then I've got three of these smaller ones. So Sorry for the get off. <laughs> I'm fighting back. It doesn't want to go on the on the pile. Uh, it's like a little bunny with a ice cream or a cake. I'm presuming that's whoever's designed this. These small ones are much harder to open without taking the backing off, because all of these do have an actual backing on them. They're not just sticky sticking to each other so like once you've got that first bit the whole thing will open quite easily so they are quite easy to cut out if you want the individual little um, images without having to cut sticky tape if you understand what I mean cute bunnies are we back to the beginning yeah he's the beginning again pop him over there this is definitely another mushroom one, sorry. Too many mushrooms. Had to stick to me, get off. The smaller ones are definitely far harder to unwrap. Oh, there we are. This is doing nothing for my nails either. Ripping the surface. A rip. Hooray. Okay. So we've got mushrooms, we've got clocks, we've got what's that? Is it a chess piece? Or is it? Is it a pepper grinder or something like that? The seasoning bottle, so I'm guessing it's a pepper grinder. Formal hat. Poison. Oh, is this another Alice in Wonderland one? We've got a playing card, red rose. Teapot, yay. Alarm clock, desert, and then we're back to the mushroom. Oh yeah, I like those as well. I like the little teapot with the camera. We've all got a bit of collage in the background behind them. Yeah, that's a cute one. Like it. And then my final last one. Oh, sad. These have taken, I think these have taken about a month to get here, but we've got um, Royal Mail is striking in the UK, so yeah, that probably has slowed the, these down. Ali normally take about two weeks or so to get to me here, but you don't have to be in a rush if you're ordering anything from them, but I don't mind with something like this, I'm not in a rush. Okay, so these are letters with words. And then a little bit of kind of botanical over them. So you've got a whole load of letters and statements. Cute rainbow, A. Eh? Sophisticated. What's that say? Sunshine, grace, cherish, destiny, eternity, twinkle. Don't know what letter I started on. What did I start on? We don't seem to have the whole alphabet. We can only go from. G N F A K P M J R S Z E. That's the only letters you're getting. So if you can't make your word out of that, tough. <laughs> you're not going to be able to do it with this roll. I definitely don't. They're the same again, aren't they? Then. Yeah. <laughs> you can have some of the alphabet, but not all of it. But they're still quite cute. I suppose if you're just doing, you just wanted a title letter and then you were going to use another sticker for the rest of the words, they could still be very useful. And I think that is my last thing. I don't think there's anything else hiding under the plastic pile. So that is all of my millions of washi. Sorry, not sorry at all. <laughs> 
So if you like washi, you might have enjoyed this video, or you might still be watching it thinking, this woman is absolutely fucking mad. Who needs all of this washi? No one, no one needs all this washi, but I wanted it. Because <laughs> it's, it's lovely. And it's so beautifully printed, and I don't need any washi again. And I can't lie, I already have a drawer of washi. <laughs> Only small washies, little washies like these kind of things. Um, so yeah, they'll be adding to my drawer of washi. I might insert an image here, I might not. <laughs> Depends how organised I am. But yeah, hopefully, if you're interested in washi, this video might have been of interest to you. Uh, back to normal colouring at some point, but I'm going to use these all in my colouring journal, like I started to do last uh, time I showed it. So obviously these little bits and pieces were from, in fact there's a few different bits of washi on here, um, on my colouring journal, so I'll be using them very much like I have been in here anyway. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, uh, I hope something was of interest to you, I will try and uh, link the alley shop that most of this from I think there were a couple that were from somewhere else but most of these big ones were all from the same shop so I'll try and add them in the description I, I hope I'm, I'm no kind of affiliate or anything I just liked them so I bought some more of them um, hopefully it was of interest to you thank you for watching bye bye